Former WWE Champion Bobby Lashley's WWE contract is reportedly up within the next month. He has already been removed from the internal WWE roster. A development on this story is that MVP looks to be on his way out of WWE as well. And according to one report, there is a desire with Lashley and MVP to reunite the Hurt Business alongside Shelton Benjamin in All Elite Wrestling. All of the details on that plus. There is backstage praise for Hologram after his AEW debut this past weekend on AW Collision. Namochi Marafuji, he faced off against AJ Styles a couple of weeks ago in Pro Wrestling Noah, and he's going to be at WWE SummerSlam later on next month. Kyle Fletcher provides an injury update on Sky Blue after she sustained a legitimate injury, forcing her match to be stopped this past Saturday on Collision. Fuego Del Sol, the former AW star, was reportedly present at this weekend's Ring of Honor TV tapings, plus a Texas death match has been announced for Ring of Honor Death Before Dishonor. Hey guys, welcome back to Rest News 365. Hope everyone is doing very well. As always, there are plenty of new stories to get into in the world of professional wrestling. Let's start off talking about former WWE champion Bobby Lashley, whose run in WWE could be about to come to an end very, very soon. According to Sean Ross Sapp of Fight for Select, a former world champion could be set to leave WWE in the very near future. Fight for Select's Sean Ross Sapp is reporting that he has learned that former world champion Bobby Lashley's WWE contract is up within the next month or so, possibly over the course of the next few weeks. Now, PWN is also reporting that they have learned that Lashley was removed from the internal roster page, though he is still featured on the company's website. And Fightful was also able to confirm that news that indeed he has been removed from the internal roster page of WWE. Now, Lashley has been out of action for a number of months and sources have told Fightful that he plans on continuing wrestling if for some reason an extension is not reached with WWE. Now, Lashley has not been factored into WWE WWE creative plan since the spring. He's wrestled five televised matches this year and won a match at WrestleMania back in Philadelphia in April. Now, though Fightful said they haven't heard of any specific aspirations to continue fighting as of late, Fightful have been told by those close to Lashley that that isn't out of the realm of possibility. And he told Fightful in the past, a um, couple of years actually, that if the right situation presented itself, he would fight again. Now, there's a big development on this story, as I mentioned. That was a story that broke late last night. But a development on this is we could see a reunion of the Hurt Business, not in WWE, but in All Elite Wrestling. As I mentioned, Fightful Select reported that Lashley's contract was set to expire and he was going to be leaving the company soon or possibly leaving the company soon. Now, as previously reported, Lashley's real life friend and former manager, MVP, according to some reports, had also been removed from the company's internal roster page. Now, speaking on Wrestling Observer Radio, Dave Meltzer provided an update noting that Bobby Lashley and MVP are reportedly on their way out of WWE and looking to reunite with Shelton Benjamin to reform the Hurt Business in AEW. He said, quote, I know there is talk of them trying to get into AEW. It's one of those things where technically nobody can talk to them because I don't believe either's contract has expired, but their contracts are going to expire and they are at this point, as things stand right now, WWE is under the assumption that they are gone and that they are going to try and revamp the Hurt Business. I don't know if they'll use that name or not. I guess it depends on the ownership of the name. They want to get Shelton Benjamin, who's also a free agent, and revamp the group in AEW. Whether this happens or not, it depends on Tony Khan. But it's definitely something that is under consideration. I don't think it's a done deal or anything like that, but it is something that is alive. But as of right now, Bobby Lashley and MVP are both going to be gone from WWE when their contract expires, which is relatively soon. So MVP's also been reacting to comments on social media as well. He actually uh, made some comments in a post on Instagram, seemingly referencing all of this talk on social media about him right now, where he shared that he was attending Fury Fighting Championship in Houston with his son. He said, quote, I am in the best of spirits. I love you all. Don't worry about me. I'm just fine. He also captioned the post, quote, all is well over here. Thanks for the love. 
Now he actually posted a post on social media on X with a actually salute emoji. Now again, the replies to both posts are of course full of messages about the rumors that he could be about to exit WWE. But as of right now, he hasn't responded to any of those claims, just those posts that we just mentioned. So what are your thoughts when it comes to this story? What are your thoughts on Bobby Lashley? being set to leave WWE as his contract expires in just a few weeks' time. What are your thoughts on MVP possibly exiting the company as well? And what are your thoughts on the rumors that we could see a reuniting of the Hurt Business possibly in All Elite Wrestling? Bobby Lashley, MVP, and Shelton Benjamin. Is that something you're interested in? Are you not interested in it? Should there be any other members of the Hurt Business if indeed it does actually go into AEW? Let me know your thoughts, your reaction to all of it in the comment section below. Now, Hologram, he made his AEW in-ring debut this past weekend, and reportedly, there was backstage praise for the new AEW star. Making his in-ring debut after previously being teased in mysterious vignettes, new AEW star Hologram has received backstage praise. On AEW Collision, a new mask star named Hologram made a big debut, including a unique entrance with camera angles and also a light-up jacket too, and as reported by Fightful Select, there was praise for the new star, but there was also a warm reception and top mark for his opponent, Gringo Loco. While Gringo Loco is not signed to AEW, he has worked with Hologram, formerly known as Aramis, in his time with AAA, dozens of times already in their careers. Hologram, for his part, is officially signed to AEW and expected to continue to have a unique presentation moving forward. Elsewhere in the report, it was also noted that there are still more planned, technologically ambitious elements of Hologram yet to be revealed. What did you make of his debut this past weekend on Collision? Where do you think the character can go? Are you excited about the character? Let me know your reaction to that too. Now, a bit of an update when it comes to WWE SummerSlam and a unique guest in attendance. AJ Styles recently battled pro wrestling Noah legend Namochi Marafuji on a pay-per-view, continuing WWE's recent trend of cross-promotion with outside promotions like All Japan Pro Wrestling, Pro Wrestling Noah, TNA, Marigold, and others. And now his opponent is coming across the ocean for more interplay between the two companies. Pro Wrestling Noah announced that former GHC heavyweight champion Marafuji will be on Japanese commentary for a Japanese pay-per-view broadcast of WWE SummerSlam on August 3rd, though technically the time difference means it will actually be on August 4th. It starts at 8 a.m. in Japan, but you get the point. The news comes not only after Styles' Budokan victory over Marafuji, Marafuji, but also the news that WWE will be sending NXT talents Josh Briggs and Tavon Heights to Noah's N1 Victory Tournament in August. The Round Robin Tournament, similar to New Japan Pro Wrestling's G1 Climax Tournament, will run from August 4th through September 1st. WWE, of course, has been cooperating with more companies as of late, with numerous TNA wrestling talent appearing on NXT, including Joe Hendry, who has become a central figure in recent weeks, as well as TNA Knockouts World Champion Jordan Grace, who not only competed in the Women's Royal Rumble match earlier on this year, but also challenged NXT Women's Champion Roxanne Perez at the NXT Battleground Premium Live event. NXT faction, the No Quarter Catch crew, competed at TNA Slammiversary this weekend in a losing effort to the Rascals' Trey Miguel, Zachary Wentz, and former NXT North American champion Wes Lee. The No Quarter Catch crew's Charlie Dempsey even challenged for All Japan's Triple Crown Heavyweight Championship just after New Year's as well. So certainly a lot going on there, and we'll see if Marafuji has any influence on the broadcast itself. Now, a bit of an update when it comes to Kyle Fletcher and his partner, Sky Blue. Specifically, the injury Blue sustained on AEW Collision this weekend. On the July 20 episode of AEW Collision, Sky Blue faced off with former AEW Women's World Champion Hikaru Shida. Unfortunately, this match ended prematurely as Blue suffered a legitimate ankle injury while taking a crossbody from Shida. As a result, Shida was declared the winner by a referee stoppage less than 24 hours after Blue sustained her injury. Her real-life boyfriend, Kyle Fletcher, has now provided an update on her status. He said, quote, We got her home, Dr. Kyle on the clock. Fletcher wrote on X alongside a photo of a middle finger flipping blue. In addition to her white cowboy hat, blue can also be seen wearing a heavily wrapped cast on her right ankle. There is no word on how long blue will be out of action for with her injury, but luckily it appears she'll have the added support of Fletcher along her recovery, however long it may be. If we get any more details on that, of course, we'll let you know in an upcoming video. 
Now, Fuego Dao Sol, is he back in the AEW family? Well, maybe a little bit, at least temporarily. Former AEW star Fuego Dao Sol featured at a recent Ring of Honor television taping a year after his spell of AEW ended. The upcoming ROH on Honor Club show in Arlington, Texas, set to air on July 25th, 2024, was taped on July 20, 2024, where Del Sol returned in a 10-man tag team match. The former AEW star teamed with Commander, Top Flight's Darius and Dante Martin, and Action Andretti, and faced the team of Nick Comorato, Anthony Henry, and Jack Jameson, Boulder, and Bronson of the Iron Savages. The match is the first time that Del Sol has wrestled on Ring of Honor. Del Sol, who joined AEW in 2020, had a three-year run with the promotion where he primarily featured on AEW Dark and AEW Rampage and only wrestled twice on AEW Dynamite and never on Collision. Since his AEW exit, he has wrestled in GCW and Rev Pro, aside from several independent pro wrestling promotions. Apart from the 10-man tag team match, the recent Ring of Honor on Honor Club taping had a few other tag team matches between the Von Erics and the Dark Order, Shane Taylor Promotions and the Blackpool Combat Club, Johnny TV and Shane Taylor versus Leo Rush and and Atlantis Jr., as well as a singles match involving Abaddon. It remains to be seen if Del Sol has or set to sign a new contract of AEW, or if this was just a one-off appearance for the star who is from uh, the Texas state. But following his Ring of Honor debut, he clarified on social media that he's not Hologram, who of course made his debut on Collision this week too. And finally, speaking of Ring of Honor, of course, Death Before Dishonor is coming up this coming Friday, and a big match has been announced for the upcoming pay-per-view. Ring of Honor will roll into Arlington, Texas this coming Friday for its Death Before Dishonor events, and one match is bound to get bloody and honor the state. Diamante and Layla Hirsch have both picked up one victory apiece in their ongoing rivalry, and they will now duke it out in a Texas death match to determine the winner at the upcoming show. Quote, after Thursday's brutal lights out fight made the tally one and one, the score between Diamante and Layla Hirsch will be settled at Ring of Honor Death Before Dishonor in a Texas death match, Tony Khan wrote on X. The pair's current rivalry stems from Diamante attacking Hirsch following a recent match on Ring of Honor on Honor Club. Following the beatdown, Hirsch bragged about Diamante not being able to beat her during the four times they competed against each other at the time. However, Diamante proved that she has what it takes after overcoming her opponent in the aforementioned Lights Out match. The Texas death match will also be hardcore rules, but it remains to be seen if Diamante can pick up another victory against her opponent. At the time of this recording, the Texas Death Match joins a card that includes Mark Briscoe defending the Ring of Honor World Championship against Roderick Strong and Queen Aminata challenging for Athena's Ring of Honor Women's World Championship. Elsewhere, Red Velvet will try and end Billy Stark's Ring of Honor Women's World Television Championship reign, and more matches will undoubtedly be added to the show over the coming days. Sadly, though, Dalton Castle will not be in action, as Tony Khan confirmed that the popular Ring of Honor star is injured and out of action for the remainder of the year. But there you go, guys. Latest pro wrestling news for you. Be sure to smash a like on the like button. Be sure to subscribe, bottom right hand corner. As always, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and I'll speak to you again very, very soon. Hey guys, thank you for watching, listening, streaming, or however you come across this video today. Be sure to click on the video on the right there to watch our next video, or click the bottom there to subscribe, or the bottom right hand corner. Thank you very much, and I'll speak to you again very soon.